Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is kind of putting it all together. Uh, the kids worked independently, answering some questions, checking things out, uh, using coordinate planes and graphing, finding distances, all kinds of fun stuff. So, uh, for example, let's take a look at this first problem here. We have the coordinates of one endpoint of a line segment are negative 2, comma, negative 7. The line segment is, just happens to be 12 units long. Give three possible coordinates of the line segment's other endpoint. So, uh, just to toss out a visual here, let's just say that my uh, my ordered my ordered pair happens to be somewhere in the neighborhood of let's see negative two, boom negative two on my x, and negative seven on my y. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's probably located somewhere over here. There's my negative two, negative seven. Okay, and if I was to draw this uh, a line segment that's 12 units long, uh, what could be some uh, possible endpoint? So let's see. So maybe I could draw it this way. I could draw it this way. I could draw it this way. I could actually draw it this way as well, but they just want three of these guys. So <clears throat> let's say this guy over here, this way, and this way. I want those endpoints. So I need 12 units this way. 12 units, and this is what the kids were doing today. All kinds of little scenarios, <coughs> figuring things out. Now here's, uh, here's how it works. That first, my starting point here is negative 2, negative 7. You need, you need to understand that if I'm cruising up, if I'm going up um, on that, cruising up on that y-axis, it's the y-value that's going to change. That x-value, because it's going to pass right through here, my new x-value is not going anywhere. That negative 2 is still going to be negative 2. But my new y value, where I'm going to land 12 units away, is, oh, like I said, 12 units away on the y axis. So if I'm starting at the negative 7, as far as my y axis is concerned, I need to add 12 to that. Okay? So what, is, what are my distances? Well, if I need a total of 12, well, I know that Right here is my 7, and here is my 0, right? So that's 7 units right there. From here to here is 7. How do I know? Well, this is 0 on the y, and this is, this is negative 7 on the y. So that distance is 7. To get to, to 12, I need 5 more. All right, I need 5 more. Well, here, all right, so here's my 7. Here's my 5 for a total of 12. And where is this? Well, that would then be 5 on that y-axis. So that's where I would land, okay? So, let's do a little proof here. Yesterday we talked about distance. If I was negative 7 on the y-axis and I wound up at positive 5 on the y-axis, is that 12 units away? Well, we're going to look at absolute value. That negative 7 happens to be 7 units from that axis, that x-axis. And 5 happens to be 5 units from that x-axis for a grand total of 12 units. And that's how I know I'm correct. Okay, so that negative 2, negative 7 winds up that 12 units away going up is going to be negative 2, comma 5. Now that's only one of my, one of my uh, uh, points here. Let's, uh, let's go to the right. Let's go this way. We'll do C. All right, so that was A. I need a B, and I need a C. So let's do, let's do C right now. So if I'm cruising to the right here, I do notice that my, now my y value is staying the same. My y value doesn't change. So if I start at negative 2, negative 7, and I'm moving to my right, that negative 7 is going to stay the same. I'm still just the same distance below that x-axis. It's the y value that's going to change. I need 12 units away. Well, here's here from this distance to this distance is 2 units, right? 2 units, which means I need another 10 from this axis, right? So I need another 10 from this axis. And that's going to land at positive 10, okay? So I wind up starting at negative 2, negative 7, and I wind up where I finish off at 10, negative 7. Now, how do I know I'm right? Here's my negative 2, here's my 10. I need to know that's 10, uh, it's 12 units away. Well, the absolute value, or my distance from 0 for that negative 2 is 2, and that absolute, view, uh, absolute value from 10, or distance from 0, is 10. I add them up, and that gives me my 12 units. Okay, and the only other one I have left here is this guy for B. Now, this one, a little more challenging, I suppose, but it's just different. 
Again, my y value is going to be the same. Since I'm going this way, my y value is going to stay, or my line segment is going to stay parallel to the x-axis, so that y value doesn't change. So I, I start at negative 2, negative 7 again, and that y value isn't going to change. That's going to remain a negative 7. It's the x value that's going to change. Now that x value is going to move, or my point is going to be further to the left of that negative 2 by 12. Okay, It's going to be further to the left of the negative 2 by 12. Well, if that's the case, if I take a regular number line, okay, and I start at negative 2, and I go 12 places, I'm going to wind up at negative 14. Okay? And there you have it. Okay? And how do I know that's 12 units away? Well, if I'm starting at 2, and I'm ending at 14, and I'm not crossing any axis or anything, and 0 is not involved, I'm, it's a straight distance from negative 2 to negative 14. Or take that 14, subtract 2 from it, and I'm going to wind up at 12 units. And there you go. Okay? So those are the fun things that we did today, uh, just taking a look at different scenarios, knowing and using what we learned, applying them, and seeing what we come up with. All right? Thanks so much, gang. Take care. Bye-bye.